Good evening, viewers. Today we will take the subject thermal power station. What is thermal power station? Almost two third of electricity requirement of the world is fulfilled by thermal power plants. That means about to 60 to 75 percent of the power requirement by the world is met by thermal power plants. That is thermal power station. In this power station, steam is produced by burning some possible fuel that is coal and then used to run the steam turbine. That means the coal is burned in the boiler. You can see the figure. You can see the figure. Uh, I will explain the figure later on. Uh, in the boilers. So sometimes it is called steam power station also. After the steam passes through the steam turbine, it is condensed in a condenser and again fed back to the boiler to become steam. This is known as the ranking cycle. The article explains how electricity is generated in thermal power plants. A majority of the thermal power plants use coal as their primary fuel and this article is focused on a coal-fired thermal power station. Coal-fired thermal power station. You can see the figure. I will explain the figure slowly. This is the boiler. This is the boiler. These are the boiler tubes wherein the water is fed from the feed water pump. And coal is burned here in the middle of the boiler. So fireball is formed and this steam, this water turns into the steam step by step and becomes a super saturated steam and then it will go to the turbine okay the turbine is shown here like this this is actually is having three stages hp turbine ip turbine and lp turbine so it runs the the steam with a concentration of 560 degrees centigrade and 145 kg per centimeter square is admitted into the turbine. There, then the energy in the steam will rotate the turbine blades. Then the rotor will rotate. And turbine rotor and alternator rotor is the same. It is coupled in the middle as shown. So here, when the coal is burnt in the boiler, a large amount of ash is also collected. So this ash powder, this ash hopper will go to the ash pond like this. Okay. When then in order to burn the coal, it requires the air, ignition and air. So that is provided by the FD fan. It is not shown, but the coal pulverizer, coal hopper and coal pulverizer means coal is pulverized into 25 mm of uh, pieces. These pieces are admitted into the boiler and by the mills, this will be turned into coal uh, turn pulverizer. It will be pulverized and turn into the fine particles like face powder. So fireball is formed, steam is formed in the upper layers of the tubes and this is admitted into the turbine. Then it goes to the alternator. Steam will not go to the alternator, but when it admitted into the HP turbine, it rolls the turbine, HP turbine, IP turbine, LP turbine, and at the last, from the LP turbine, it is dumped into the condenser where the condensate is formed. 
condensate is formed then this condensate will go to the cooling tower then here water warm water turns to the almost the normal temperature water and this is pumped back to the feed water pump and then it goes to the boiler and the cycle is completed like this chimney can cooling tower when the ash is collected the smoke gases will uh, go to the precipitator and then it is collected ash is collected and only smoke is admitted into the long chimney as shown okay then so coal we will discuss coal in a coal based thermal power plant coal is transported from coal mines to the generating station that means it is if you take the example of kottagudam thermal power station the coal mines are in singareni colonies that is in kottagudam and manuguru and even in madhya pradesh talcher the, the coal is transported from there to the generating station generally bituminous coal or brown coal is used as fuel the coal is stored in either dead storage or in a live storage dead storage is generally 40 days backup coal storage that means the coal required to run the thermal power station for a continuous period of 40 days that much coal is stored in the dead storage or in live storage coal supply is unavailable what it is backup which is used when the coal supply is unavailable live storage is a raw coal bunker in boiler house the coal is cleaned in a magnetic cleaner or filter out if any iron particles are present which may cause the wear and tear in the equipment see in the coal raw coal which is transported from the coal mines some magnetic particles will be also present so these are transported to a coal coal yard and then to the pulverizer then to the mill okay so some of the iron particles will be removed by placing the magnets on the way to the coal pulverizer live iron particles present which may cause wear and tear in the equipment the coal from the live storage is first crushed in small particles as i told you 25 mm and then taken into the pulverizer to make it in powdered form fine powdered coal undergoes complete combustion and thus pulverized coal improves efficiency of the boiler the ash produced after the combustion of coal is taken out of the boiler furnace and then properly disposed periodic removal of ash from the boiler furnace is necessary for the proper consumption combustion boiler now we will discuss about the boiler what is boiler the mixture of pulverized coal and air usually preheated air within the bracket is taken into the boiler then burnt in the combustion zone burnt in the combustion zone on ignition of fuel a large fireball is formed at the center of the boiler a large amount of heat energy is radiated from it okay this heat energy is utilized to convert the water into steam at the high temperature and pressure steel tubes run along the boiler walls in which water is converted into steam 
the flue gases from the boiler make their way through the superheater economizer preheater and finally get exhausted into atmosphere from the chimney this is the flow of the air first uh, flue gases which are formed due to the combustion of the coal will escape where they will escape they escape through the superheater where it transforms the heat to the boiler superheater then economizer then air preheater and finally get exhausted into the atmosphere from the chimney so chimney is a large structure around 200 meters high from the ground floor so the flue gases will uh, join the atmosphere through the chimney superheater the superheater tubes are hanged at the hottest part of the boiler the saturated steam produced in the boiler tubes has been superheated to about 540 degrees centigrade in the superheater the superheated high pressure steam is then fed to the steam turbine i just explain earlier economizer what is economizer a economizer is essentially a feed water heater which heats the water before supplying to the boiler it goes to the when the water is admitted into the furnace of the uh, boiler then it goes to the first it goes to the economizer where the flow gases will flow in the economizer thereby some heat is transferred to the feed water air preheater the primary air fan takes air from the atmosphere and it is then warmed in the air preheater the preheated air is injected with coal into the boiler for proper conduction the advantage of preheating air is that improves the coal combustion steam turbine now we will discuss about the steam turbine. the high pressure superheated steam is fed to the steam turbine which causes the turbine blades to rotate energy in the steam is converted into the mechanical energy in the steam turbine which acts as the prime mover the pressure and temperature of the steam falls to a lower value then it expands volume as it passes through the turbine that is lp turbine so it, the expanded low pressure steam is exhausted into the condenser as shown in the figure condenser the exhausted steam is con condensed into the condenser by means of cold water circulation here the steam loses its pressure as well as temperature temperature and it is converted back into water condensing is essential because compressing a fluid which is in the gaseous state requires a huge amount of energy which in respect of energy required in compressing the fluid liquid thus condensate in con condensing increases the efficiency of the cycle banyasa don't go me saying tomorrow we will discuss about